of everybody and welcome back so let's start uh, implementing our uh, ui that we have exported in the previous video so i'm going to create a new project so open your unity hub create a new product project and it's a 2d project name your project and here i have already created it so let's open it up now the next thing you are going to do is you have to import all your assets so in the assets i have created a new folder called images so you just uh, select the assets come right here right click and go to create and a new folder and rename it images after that just uh, select all your images that you have so all the images and drag and drop right here so i have these four images circle button logo play button and settings bg so the first thing uh, i'm going to do is is uh, make sure you select the resolutions to 1920 and 1080 then you are going to go to the main menu so right here in the hierarchy and go to ui and create a canvas so the canvas will contain all the ui that we are going to implement now the first thing here you have to uh, do some settings right here so the first thing we are going to do is uh, the change the render mode uh, sorry not the render mode but the ui scale mode from constant pixel to scale with screen size so what this is going to do is it is going to uh, scale the ui elements according to the uh, screen size so this will make uh, your uh, ui responsive and in the reference resolution always put the reference uh, the resolution that you are working on so i'm going to just put 1920 into 1080 so we are going to design on this uh, resolution and then the scaler is going to scale the ui according to uh, these uh, reference resolution so it is going to calculate a scale factor and uh, this is some uh, behind the scene things that unity does now uh, the next thing is screen match mode so uh, set it to match width or height and since we are uh, developing designing in the landscape so we should uh, just put this slider to width and if you are using if you are designing for the portrait then the height is more important so that uh, we are going to then uh, change this to height okay we will go in more depth uh, later on but for now these are the settings that i always use the next thing we are going to uh, change the background so on the canvas on the canvas you go to the ui and create an image so let's call it background okay so now you can see that we have a small image which is uh, with 100 and height 100 so we want to expand this to the whole screen so that we have a white background as we have right here so what we're going to do is play, uh, go to right here and this is going to uh, give you some presets and we will go in more depth what these presets are and uh, how we can use them to in uh, in responsive ui development so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, select the control com uh, sorry command and option and then click on this stretch option so this is what this is going to do is it is going to stretch the image to match the uh, width and height of the uh, canvas okay so on window i think it's control and alt or shift alt or something like that uh, but after that let's uh, change the color from the white to a bit so actually we are going to set it to f3 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 so this is our background now what we need is we need our logo 
so what I'm going to do is on the canvas I'm going to go to again UI so this is uh, in the UI you will see that you have a lot of uh, components so these are the basic building blocks that you can use mix and match to create complex UI systems so what I'm going to do is I'm going this time I'm going to use the raw image so as you can see that the raw image has been created and let's uh, rename this to logo what I'm going to do is in this uh, if you select the image and here in the texture we're going to drag our logo right here as you can see that our logo is uh, right now very small which is matching the width so we want to adjust this width and height of the image according to our image so what we can do is there you will see an option called set native size so what this is going to you do is set the uh, width and height of the uh, texture uh, sorry not texture the image according to our texture and then uh, in the scene window so here we have two windows uh, game and scene so game here how it is going to be how it is going to look and in the scene you can uh, manipulate and position your uh, image however you want so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on this move tool and here we can you see move the image on the x and y axis so let's uh, put it uh, right here now few more things so as you can see that if you can see right here we have these four anchors so I have already created a video on anchors you can find it on my channel uh, and we will discuss them uh, later uh, in more depth but what I'm going to do is so right now you can see that this image is anchored to the center so what this mean is that when we are going to uh, scale when the uh, when the image is going to be scaled so it is going to uh, use this center point as an anchor and uh, position the uh, image according to that anchor okay so let's uh, since uh, this image is uh, more to the top so what we can do is we can change the anchor from the uh, from uh, center to up now this is the anchor point and this is uh, going to uh, use that anchor to scale the image okay uh, the next thing is this start button so let's uh, go right here and create a new button there must be a button right here so uh, now uh, since uh, we have to we are using the text mesh pro package and we have to import the uh, some essentials asset which contains like fonts and all those so just click on the import TMP essentials also import the examples and extras okay now let's uh, rename this to play button so as you can see if you select this and double click it is going to zoom on that button so here on the same thing on for the play button we have a source image which is set to UI sprite so instead what we are going to do is we are going to drag replace this with our sprite and it is it looks a bit stretched so what we are going to do is we are going to set it to native size so right here we have our button and in inside the button there is a component uh, called text so let's put play right here and since uh, the text is also black so we cannot see so go here in the vertex and just set it to white 
so as you can see it's a bit small you can either change the font size so let's say 40 or you can use the auto size but so if you can see if we set it to auto size so here we, you can like uh, give that the minimum should be maybe like 14 so since uh, okay so minimum should be and maximum so let's not talk about that right now and just set the uh, size to that make it maybe bold you can make it uppercase lowercase and here you have some alignments so make sure you make it center uh, vertically and horizontally and yeah so far we have our logo our background logo and a play button so it should be start but doesn't matter so in the next video we are going to implement the settings and then we are going to write some basic code to uh, change the to travel from one screen to another and come back so that's it for this video and i will see you in